this time because he's on the grown up chair and I'm on the tiny little poof. I'm so small. Oh, so small. So small. Also, I look super professional today. Uh, what we're doing today is tasting Kit Kats. Tasting Japanese Kit Kats. I am a professional Japanese Kit Kat taster now. That's her job title. Okay, so I've decided to make this video to celebrate Marete going to Japan for six months. If you're interested in Japan, go to her channel and subscribe and she's gonna be posting a lot of new videos now, so that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, the only thing that we have is a bunch of candy, so... Yeah, yeah, we've been to Japan a couple times and every time we go we end up coming back with tons of stuff. And we think, could we do a Japanese taste test? We've got so much stuff from just Kit Kat though, we thought we'd do one specific to that, so that's the plan. Okay, so the first one we're starting off with is the... Kit Kat Citrus Blend, which you can't see because there's our faces. Woo. So, looking at the wrapper, it seems like it's like lime and orange, and I'm not sure if it's lemon, it might be yuzu, because there's so many different kinds of Japanese citruses. I'll preface this by saying that uh, my favorite Kit Kat is the orange one that they always do as a kind of limited edition. And it's so good, and I love them so much. So if this is sorted like that, I'm probably going to be easily impressed. Well, you like like chocolate orange, right? Mm. Well, this is like just orange, I think, because it's literally okay, orange. Oh, grief! <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Wow. Okay, it smells good. All right, let's give this a go. Well, at least you you kid get right. Mm -hmm. At least your only boyfriend quality. My only boyfriend quality. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Instead of the normal orange Kit Kats where there's a layer of chocolate and then they have this kind of orange stuff inside, they've mixed the mm. orange into the chocolate itself or whatever fake chocolate they use in place of that. But it's delicious and it's much more much more of a strong citrus flavour than you normally get from the kind of chocolate orange that uh, you get in the UK. And you know, it's not even extremely sweet. Mm. It might be because uh, Japanese Kit Kats are so tiny. Tiny, tiny Kit Kats for thin Japanese people. Mm, the tiny portions. Okay, so next up is this Hojicha Kit Kat. And Hojicha is a type of roasted green tea. So the process of making it or like preparing it before you actually make it is a bit different from a classic green tea. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I love that. Wow, okay, so that smells so distinctly of matcha. You but know, it's not. I know what you, what you say, but like, um, it just has that distinctive smell that you get from before you even like make matcha tea or you get someone nearby drinking it in Japan that wafts over and it just mm. that hit me before any sense of chocolate or anything like that coming off of it It's definitely very roasty Roasty Also these are fairly old now and they, you know, they've survived the summer so, you know, extra points for that too Tell me there with this When you go to a Japanese restaurant and they all give you tea uh, it's generally this, and I tend to find it a bit strong as a flavour. This is much reduced, but you're still getting all those hints through it, and it's delicious. It's really, really good. Plus this, unlike regular green tea you get in Japan, this is sweet. Yeah, that's so true. So I think that you like that because you put sugar in your coffee and... My tea, sandwich, everything. Yeah. Bean sandwich! <laughs> it's a red bean paste sandwich. So I imagine it's gonna be just like, a, you know, red bean pasty. Look at the picture. That's kind of cute in the sort of, I'm not a big fan of bean paste, but I know it's massively popular Beans. in China and Japan. Oh. Hello, kitty cat. <laughs> oh, he wants the bean. <laughs> oh. He wants the bean. It does, yeah, that smells like, um, it smells like red beans. I'm not sure how happy or unhappy you're going to be about that. Well, it's covered in chocolate, so fingers crossed. I feel like they're really good with the flavors. It's subtle, yeah. I think they've got a very good uh, testing department that goes, nope, that's too much red bean, and that's actually fine. Um, I don't think that anyone in Japan would ever go, that's too much red bean. I bet you're gonna be excited about this one. Saki. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition, but it definitely came out kind of earlier this year, I think. A lot of YouTubers made a video about it. I, for some reason, had this for ages and just didn't try it because um, I'm not good at this. <laughs> it's white. 
Shit! It smells <laughs> from here. I'm. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. That smells like you've accidentally like poured sake over the packet. It smells exactly like sake. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's so weird. So it's got like a kind of banana, like that kind of artificial banana that you get in sweets flavor to it. But the smell that comes off of it is just all sake. So maybe it's like some sort of like an infusion that is more smell than taste. It's really nice. But yeah, it reminds me of that kind of classic, like, um, Nesquik banana uh, drink that you used to be able to buy here. There's actual alcohol in this. It's oh not, yeah, that doesn't some... surprise me. <laughs> what they call it though is powder wine. So, um, that sounds appetizing. The last one is actually one of the special baking ones. And it's a baking sweet potato one, so we have to go to the kitchen and bake it. I turned the oven on, so unless you turn it off, we will now go and put it in the oven for three minutes. <laughs> I'm really worried. Follow the... I wanted to say let's follow the beans, but then I realized it's not beans. It's not beans. It's taters. Oh, now our kitchen is probably super filth. Let's just focus on the tater. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Hmm. It smells really nice, but it does look kind of weird. He's back. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, what have you done to them? This is just how they turned up. It's delicious. It's it's a Kit Kat creme caramel or creme brulee, one of those two. I think they're the same. Mm. Maybe. Oh. Um, it doesn't taste like sweet potato though. No. That was an awful lot of work for very little return, but it was nice enough and an interesting departure from our, our normal Kit Kats, I guess. So what do you think? Personal favourites? I really like the tea one. I really, I, I always like all tea Kit Kats from Japan. I kind of like the um, the kind of mixed uh, mixed citrus ones. I think they were pretty cool. Cats making weird noises again. Um, I think I'm a sucker for orange in my chocolate and this one it was like an extreme version of that, so I really enjoyed that. Well, we still have some left over, so we're gonna give those to our friends. Uh, we don't have any, we're just gonna eat them. No, that's not true. We're, we're about to go away and try out VR for the first time after this, so that's gonna be entertaining. So maybe if it's good, we can give them sweets, and if it's awful, we can vomit sweets at them. So, <laughs> win, win, win either way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and bon voyage to Marete once again. Uh, she's gonna eat all the Kit Kats and she will have to send me some. Yes, she will. Send us some.